What's good YouTube? This is Al B and I'm about to show you how to set up your innovation launch key with the FL Studio. Now what I'm about to show you will work with the MK2 versions, whether that's the mini, the, the, the 25 key, the 49 key, or the 61 key versions. This template will work with all of those with some slight nuances which I'll call out when I show you how to set it up and how it works. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is Al B. All right guys, so before I show you how you're gonna get this set up at home for yourself, I first wanted to show you how it works in a workflow and kind of a live demo so you can see the benefits to your workflow and why I prefer to use it myself and why I think you're gonna also prefer it as well. So the first thing to note is that um, the pads, are, there are 16 pads on the launch key and that's gonna be the case whether you have the, the mini 25 key version the 49 key version or the 61 key version, um, all of those will have 16 pads. And the way that this template works is the bottom left pad will trigger the first channel. The second pad from the left will trigger the second channel. The third pad triggers the third channel, so forth and so on. So the bottom row of pads will trigger the first eight channels inside of FL Studio. And then the top eight row of pads will trigger the next eight channels or channels nine through 16. So again, the bottom row will trigger channels one through eight. The top row will trigger channels nine through 16, giving you 16 total channels that you can control and trigger with your drum pads. So now that you understand how that works, um, another big key to this template is that you will always be able to play the virtual instrument, whether that's strings or piano or Omnisphere or Nexus or whatever your favorite VST is, you'll be able to still use your keys on the keyboard to play that virtual instrument and simultaneously be able to play your drum. You see what I'm saying? So that's really the benefit of it. So let me show you a quick example and I kind of continue to show you why this is, uh, you know, just a good way to go about making beats in FL Studio when you have a launch, a launch key innovation keyboard. So let's just go ahead and do a four bar loop and let's do a um, example of how this could work with your workflow. Turn off the metronome there. All right, so just uh, giving you guys a quick heads up, like, man, that sounds awful. The, my drums are gonna be off slightly because of my recording setup that I have here. I have to actually use a driver inside of FL Studio that's not the best driver. It's a little bit flaky and it causes a lot of latency. Um, and that's just so the sound coming out of FL Studio will be recorded by my screen captured program. Um, so don't worry about that. That is not a consequence of the template or my skills. Um, that is just um, the setup that I have to have here today to be able to show you guys how this template works. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. But with that being done, you should be able to see how this is a much greater workflow. You can quickly get your melody laid down and you can come back on top of it with your drums that you've already pre-selected and you can really quickly get your idea going and be able to get the vibe and the concept of your song or your track going really strong without getting caught up in, in the fuss of FL Studio trying to tweak parameters and getting lost in the sauce, so to speak. So, okay. So what I'm going to do now is show you how this helps you when it comes to arranging and why having your MIDI data separate in these separate channels, um, which is part of the way this template is set up. I'm going to show you why that's so beneficial when it comes to arranging your beat. So what I, what I have here is this little test loop that I made and I drop it inside of my playlist here. It's test and you just drag it over and just drop it right into the playlist there. And then what you do is you go up here to your pattern and you right click it and you hit split by channel, boom. And what that does is every channel that has something active inside of it, it will actually make a new pattern on its own. So you can see these bottom four patterns are new. 
There's kick, my kick pattern. There's my clash pattern, which is just my clap. There's my hi-hat, and then there's my Yamaha C7. So now I can start to arrange my beat right out the bat without a bunch of fuss. All right, again, not my greatest performance ever, um, but you guys can get the idea and understand why this is so powerful. So now what I'm gonna do is transition into showing you how you can set this up for yourself. Um, so let's open up Chrome. There are gonna be a couple of links included in the description. And um, the first link will take you to the Innovation Launch Key support website. And um, on that support website, you're gonna download this USB driver for the Launch Key MK2. And this is, again, guys, this will all be the same for the MK2 25, which is the mini version, the 49 or the 61 um, key keyboard. Um, so you're gonna download this USB driver and I've already downloaded it. And when you download it, you're gonna run the exe file. You're just gonna hit next install. This won't take very long. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go. It takes about five seconds, boom. So now you have the driver installed. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download my template. That'll be the second link in the description. And when you download that template, it's gonna come as a zip folder. You're gonna unzip that folder, and then when you unzip it, yours will have three files in it. Mine here has four, more about that later. Your file, when you download it, will only have three files. The first file is gonna be Please Read Me. That file, as the name says, you should read it because I'm gonna use this file to continuously update it with common issues that people see with the template and how those common issues are fixed. So if you're having any kind of issues, I would suggest you check the please read me file before you reach out to me or before you go too in depth and troubleshooting it yourself. The second file is going to be titled This is Al B Green Red. Now this file is going to be the main template and that's the one I'm going to be using today to show you how to install this template. The the name Green Red it's supposed to denote the color of the pads when you are running this template on the keyboard. Um, the only thing to note there is that the Launch Key Mini, um, for some reason, the way they did the color palette on the keys, on the keypads, doesn't actually light up from green to red. But if you're using the 49 key version or the 61 key version, then you should see a gradient of pads that are colored from green to red. And that's why this template is called This Is Al B Green Red. Um, but don't worry about that. Those are just colors. And again, the colors will be a little different on the Launch Key Mini, uh, but the template will still work just as fine. The, the third file and the last file um, will be, this is Al B Green Red Sensitive. And the keyword sensitive is just to tell you that this will be for those of you who want your drum pads to be velocity sensitive, meaning the harder you press the drum pad, then the harder you want that drum to strike. Um, this sensitive key, this sensitive template will be for you guys who want that functionality. All right, so now that you understand the three files that are inside of that zip folder, you're going to open up another window. I'm gonna right click, open a new window, and you're gonna to navigate to um, the directory that we're gonna to wanna to put in this template. So you're gonna to go to local disk or the C drive and then you're going to want to go to program files if you're running a 64 bit version of FL Studio. If you're running a 32 bit version, then you're going to follow these next steps, except you're going to do this inside of program files x86. If you're not sure what version of FL Studio you're running, or if you have any kind of issues, I would suggest you just put this template into both of these locations. So I know that I'm running the 64 bit version, so I'm going to go down into program files. Again, if you're running a 32-bit version, you would follow these same steps, except you would do it in Program Files x86. So here I go. Program Files, Image Line, FL Studio 20, because that's the version of FL Studio that I'm running. System, Hardware Specific, Innovation Launch Key MK2. Boom. Here you're going to see 10 files, and, and the first nine the first nine files, page one through nine, are the default 
nine templates that come installed um, when you when you have FL Studio and when you have the Innovation Launch Key keyboard. Um, just through some research and trying to get this set up, I found page six template that came with it to be the least useful. So what I did was I pretty much just copied it out. I pretty much just cut it out and then I copied it over here. And that's why I have this file over here, just so I can have that one for safekeeping in case I wanted to use it later. So just drag out page six and put it somewhere where you can find it later. And then you're going to drag in, you're going to copy in. This is Al B green, red, copy, paste. And then once you have, this is Al B, the, this is Al B template, whether you're using the green, red template or whether you're using the green, red sensitive template, you will just copy it into this directory. Once you have it in this directory, you're going to right click it and you're going to rename it to page six dot SCR boom. And that's pretty much it. Again, one last time, if you're using the 32 bit version, you want to do this inside of program files, x86 image line, FL studio 20 system, hardware specific innovation launch key MK two. And then you would do the same thing, pull out page six and put in that template. So now we've done that. We have it actually installed in the right directory. Let's go to FL studio and let's set that up inside of FL studio. All right, now that we have the template actually installed on our computer and in, the, and in the right directory or in the right folder, I wanna show you how you set up FL Studio itself um, to use the MIDI keyboard properly. So you're gonna to go to MIDI settings or you can just hit F10. You're gonna make sure for the output, you select the launch key mini. Yours might not have a two in front of it, uh, but you're still gonna to wanna to just select the one that says launch key mini for the output. Um, then you're going to want to do, you don't have to send master sync, but I, I, I typically leave it off. So I would just suggest you leave it off as well. Then you're going to want to go to the input and it's going to say launch key mini as well. Now, a key thing here inside of the input box is you want to go to MIDI in two and make sure this is also enabled and you'll know, cause it should have a power sign beside it when it's enabled, when it's not enabled, there won't be a power sign, a power icon beside it. Now, if you look at my keyboard here on the screen, one thing to, that's the key part. When I hit enable, it actually turns on the end control, which you need this end control functionality in order for this template to work. So make sure in your input section, you go to MIDI, MIDI in two and make sure that's enabled. And then you're gonna go back to launch key mini as the input device. So that should be good so far. Then you wanna go look at controller type and that should read innovation launch key MK2 keyboard there. And the, the last thing to change here is Omni Preview Channel needs to be channel 16. Um, that will not work with any other number besides 16. So make sure you set that to 16. Now that should be good. Now we're gonna come here to the keyboard. All right guys, so now we got the MIDI settings set up in FL Studio. Now we need to actually enable the template on our keyboard. Again, today I'm using the launch key mini, which is the, which is the, uh, the 25 key version. This will work on the 25 key version, also known as the mini. It'll work on the 49 version and it'll work on the 61 version, all MK2. So the only difference is going to be that when you go to enable your template, I think for the launch key 49 and the launch key 61, you have to press the rewind and fast forward buttons together to bring up your templates on the launch key mini today we're just going to press the up arrow on the scene button and this will only work if the in control light is on up scene and now you will see the pads light up green these are the templates that we saw earlier page one through nine in that same directory where we copied the lb template into this is those templates shown here on the keyboard to select from so we made ours page six, and so that's going to be the sixth template here. The tricky part here is that the first pad doesn't actually count. So you would count it like a pad zero. So if this was zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, because we named ours page six. So we're going to press this one to select this template here. Boom. And you know you selected this template on the mini when the colors show up and it's going to be a light going from a light orange to a dark orange to a yellowish color and then to 
finally a red color on if you're using the launch key 49 or the launch key 61 they're going to show the actual gradient going from green to red okay so that's another little small difference there just between using the other keyboards um, but we know you have the right tempo selected when you see the gradient of colors come up and then you can double check it if I press this pad it should trigger channel one the next one should trigger channel two so forth and so on the bottom row triggering the first eight channels the top row triggering the next eight channels or channels 9 through 16 and then if I select my Yamaha C7 as my selected instrument in my channel rack my keys should play that all right guys so this looks like we're good to go here and um so as you can see, the tempo is set up and it's working perfectly. Um, this will work for all of the keyboard versions. The only difference being how you actually enable the template on the keyboard itself. With the bigger keyboard versions, with the 49 to 61 key versions, you have to press rewind and fast forward to bring up the template selection to then hit the seventh pad over. So um, I hope you guys find that video helpful. Make some money, make some music, and um, I'll see you guys next time. So as you can see, this is definitely one of the best workflows to have with FL Studio. If you have an integration launch key, the way that they show you how to set it up is using the FPC method. And that method is, in my opinion, not a very smooth workflow. So hopefully this will help you guys have a nice creative workflow, get into your flow state and do your thing, man. Without further ado, this is Al B. I'm out.